Why, hello, hello, everybody, and today is Wednesday, April 10th, and we are on Reed's Lake in the east town of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Ignore that sound, it's not diegetic. A little pirate's cove over here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Try to chest mount thing with the camera. I don't know how that's gonna work. And all the audio that's gonna turn out. That's questions. Pretty. Everybody's putting their docks together. I'm just gonna let this roll. This is peaceful. I don't know if you guys can hear me.
Early spring turtle count one. Two. There's a swan over here. We'll come around. I don't want to bother it. I'm going to approach it from where it can see me where maybe it will feel. More confident. I don't want to scare it. It's clearly sitting on the nest. shot as I can from a floating camera platform and a smartphone. It's a huge nest. Alright, let's leave that swan alone. I say no to stick paddle underneath this boardwalk over here. Let's uh Five and six on the turtle count. Oh, I feel bad. I just made them dive into the water. She were they were floating there, trying to warm up. Let's come over. I think this is the public footpath. I was curious if this is a. Nope. I think this just ends here. It's a dead end. Turn around. Turtle count. Let's see. Is there four? That's a turtle, right? Not a stump. Yep. Look at them all over there. Hang on, let's slow down and stop. It's photo worthy. So, two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 13. I'm gonna watch myself because there's a lot of wood over here. 13. <laughs> I'm gonna probably, let's pop that. All right, well hopefully that doesn't backfire on me, but I pop my little rubber plug open so maybe my audio will be better. This is my first time kayaking Reed's Lake. I tried filming kayaking before, it always kind of 
It doesn't ever come out to the quality that I want it. <clears throat> well, it's because we end up filming on a smartphone. Swan out there fishing. Looks like we're trying to. Guy ran into on the dock said he had tr had tried not caught anything. So don't know if it's worth it. I don't know how fishing is here on Reeds Lake. our nose in over here. Let's see what we see. I'm seeing at least a turtle. It makes us 15 on the turtle count. There's a deer. Oh wow, a couple deer. I don't know if you guys caught that at all, but I certainly did. Two little yearlings, maybe? They weren't that big. Oh, and we're full of uh, logs in here again. Yep, yep, that's a lot of wood. Yeah, we're not going in there. Back paddle. Sort of counts 15. Ooh, a lot of wood. A little bit of waves, a lot of wood. What are you screaming at me for? Go back to your buddy. I'm not after you. You're following me. Crazy Canadian goose. I guess I didn't do a weather report. I'll probably do 
title card weather report back at the start because I don't know what else I'm going to talk about it is in the sun it is 65 that's what I'm going to say wow look at these houses I've never seen I don't think I've seen any of these houses before they're all set back so far from the road But yeah, it's very hazy. It's a little humid, and I'd say between 60, two actual air temp, and 65. It's mostly the sun that's that warm. But most of these guys haven't even put their, their uh, docks out yet. That's the way to do it, though. Live right on the lake. Use my kayak a lot more if I lived on a, anything. I'll look back towards East Town there, where we just came from on the other side. So we're currently kind of on the northeast side of Reed's Lake. And again, that's assuming you guys can hear what I'm saying at all. Little tiny pontoon boats, that's cute. And it's warm enough out oh, that that water feels good when it falls on my arms. I'm probably gonna have to stop on the other side of the lake and try to find a spot where I can put on sunscreen. I don't know if that's the kind of thing I want to try to attempt to do right in the middle of the lake. That's kind of austere. Looks like somebody dropped their survival bunker right on the side of the lake here. Didn't even bother finishing burying it. Weird to see fences up along a lake. Not really something you see very often in Michigan. Not to mention the fact that if you did that along the river, it'd be a really good way to kill people. A real bird? That is a real bird. Hi, bird. Don't mind me. You're fine. I should turn the brightness down on this. Let's not do that again. I just turned the brightness down so far I couldn't see the screen. That was dumb. Alright. Nice and sandy right here. Tempting to kind of go swimming. The bottom.
bottom's nice. Look at that. Sandy over here. Who knows? It could be just as nice further in. Oh, I might not find another spot to freaking... We'll see. We'll see. tiny fence. This kitchen's nicer than my kitchen. Not that that means much anything, my kitchen's <laughs> tiny. Let's keep paddling, or we're gonna get sunburned by the time we get around this lake. Considered this lake probably freezes. Look at the size of some of these houses. I don't know if you guys can see or if it comes across on camera. There's some massive houses. This is all sandy over here, too. This is quite nice. Super fun to paddle in the evening. And you gotta kinda wonder where they even let people out here at night. It's in the city, so who knows? Oh, you guys should, this water is pretty clear. Of course, it's probably a possibility we weren't even recording. So if there's gaps in this, my apologies. I'm doing the best I can. The camera. So we're going around clockwise. We'll probably end off at Rosie's again. Well, and we'll probably end the video when we circle back around to Rosie's, I should say. Oh, I got some editing ahead of me, huh? What 
really quiet over here. Mm, the vibe over here is a little different than on the Grand, too. Some of the houses on the Grand are... Just get barely getting by. I can't quite say any of these houses look like they're just barely getting by. Some of them look like nobody's living in them. But that's not to say, they don't look like they're immaculate. One chair in the corner of the yard Is that for the loud members of the family. Oh. And they've got their dock out already. Of course, the slime on it makes me think maybe they don't put it away. A lot darker over here. You can tell they dredged it out. Keep bumping the camera. I'm also, I don't know how my angle is. This could be a terrible video, guys. Who knows? It's a fun, fun kayaking trip, though. I'll tell you that much. Is that the kind of piece I should do to camera? Never kayak filmed before. It's kind of new to me. I should have brought out the uh, RS Magic paddle instead of the Tech. This one's not quite cutting. It's a nice still lake. Using the technical paddle, it's we could use a little more directional control. Different use for guardrails. That's um. That's how I do that. Stainless would last longer. It wouldn't look like um, the side of a freeway. Cool mid centuries here too, but we're kind of low in the water to really get a good view. Too bad those commercial windows probably have an R value of like two.
We gotta make our way out to Grand Haven one of these days too. Now that it's summer. Pad along through there too. Lots of good inland waterways and lakes. Some nice folks invited me out to say hi on their boat that they summer on. It was very kind. I can't remember their slip number, but I remember the name of the boat. So, one of these days I'll just have to paddle through the harbor, harbor and take a look for them. Uh, it's a willow. That's a pretty cool looking willow. I'll tilt you guys back. No turtles down this way. I don't think they can get up on the lips or the ledges over here to get out in the sun. So we're coming to the east end of the lake here. There's a little uh, little alcove back here. Wow, some of you guys need to do just a little bit of love to your dock. Because it is rough. Check one, two, check one, two. They do not make waterproof lavalier mics. The arsonist had oddly shaped feet. A little vocal warm up. I hope if this footage turns out it's relaxing for you guys because it's doing it for me. The only thing not relaxing about this is wondering how the footage is going to turn out and knowing that when I'm done with all said and done I still have an hour and a half walk. Oh, the birds. Ooh. Okay, now I get what people put owl statues on their docks. The birds are kind of being disgusting. But yeah, when it's all said and done, it's going to be quite a walk home, so we'll see. I, uh, I did not, made sure not to bring any money so I wouldn't be tempted to stop at Rosie's. I had my turkey sandwich for lunch before I left at about one o'clock. I'm guessing we're coming up on two, two thirty right now. Two, two o'clock. Don't know. Don't care. I'm relaxed. That's what's important. Somebody's 
shore station. It needs a battery or something. what that is. That is very annoying. Sounds like one of those useless mosquito things. I whistle a lot at the birds so they don't get startled by me approaching. Don't know if that actually works or not. Works for me. Man, I'm telling you, these Canadian geese are huge. I do not want to have to fist fight one of them. Man, even the mallards are pretty big. <laughs> Probably one of our first days where it's been really warm enough to very safely kayak. So the water temps are still down in the 50s, 40s. Uh, the river was 40 something this morning and was warming its way up to 55 or so. I'm guessing the lake is just a little bit colder actually, given that it's just deeper. It's hard to tell though. I stuck my hand in it, it's cold. If I go in, I'm going to be wringing my clothes out and whining a lot. Of course, if I drop this phone eight or nine more times. I won't have to record this at all. Let's get a paddle on. The wind's picking up just a little bit. It's going to through the day. Need a better camera mount. Waves are hitting me from the side now too. There's enough dock around here. Dock segments sitting on the shore. Man, that's crazy. So I think this is the shallow end of the lake. On the southeast corner. We'll poke our nose back here and see. It's not a long trip back to uh, where we put in. Ooh. Do 
people look like they got their very own kayak and canoe rental. Still going good. You guys saw that giant egret. I don't think I turned enough. I might be able to catch him when we come back. I'm sure it gets shallow up here at some point. I didn't know that was a road. Interesting. Oh, this might dead end back here.
<laughs> yep, I think. Turtle count is at 16. Seventeen. There goes that big egret again. That's what that is at least. Kind of had to back in to where we dead ended last. Oh, look at all the turtles back there. Oh, that puts us easily into the 20s. Lots of turtles back here. Look at them all. Look at them all over here. Yeah, this is where I cut through, I think. Oh, that's a big turtle. We're easily in the 40s for turtles now.
big turtles. right there. Ooh, really shallow. The turtle count is out of control over here, so. <laughs> They've just stacked up on the logs. Now that there's actual, you know, logs in the water. Alright. Time to start heading back. Oh, really shallow. Really, really shallow. Right? Stuck my feet in the water. It's really cold. <laughs> Especially down in the shade on this end. Alright, let's keep moving. We're gonna make it all the way down to Rosie's. But I kinda wanna tool around some more. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video of Reed's Lake in East Town, Grand Rapids, Michigan. If you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.